Hello everyone. While developing this player plus project, I learned how we can customize HTML tags, especially HTML video tags, how we can add mouse and touch events on them, what is HLS, what are the M3 U8 files and how we can use them, how we can create a React component as a library and how we can publish that to NPM. So now let's discuss how I developed this project step by step so that you can understand the same. So on Teacher's Day, Harkirat suggested the idea of building a video player in which we can divide the CGUAR into different different chapters so that viewers can see two different different chapters according to their choice. So after understanding the idea, I started building this project. Firstly, I created a simple Next.js project with a TypeScript, added a component in that with a simple video player and source and chapters as a pro. Then I started learning about this HTML video tag, how we can customize this and how we can add more features to it and set the first task to add a custom sequence. After a couple of prompts, I found that by this way, we can add a simple seek bar. So here we have this video tag and this is our seek bar container. And in this seek bar container, we have this seek bar progress. So this seek bar container have a hundred percent width and its background color we have set gray. And seek bar progress color is red and its initial width is zero. And here you can see that we have set uh, event listener, time update event listener to this video tag. So this, uh, this function will be called again and again whenever the time will be updated. So here we are calculating how much percent this video, video is played and based on that we are setting the width of this you know, Sigvar progress. You can see that the initial width was 0 and as the video play the time update. So uh, with that we update the width of this progress that you can also see that whenever where if we seek this video to forward or backward then the width is increasing. And in this Sigvar container, we have also set this on click, this handle seek function. And it is first, it is first calculating like on which percentage we are clicking on this Sigvar container. And according to that, it is setting the new time in this video play. So this is very simple, right? Now it's time to divide this Sigvar into multiple segments and sync them together. So I created this simple chapter data in which we need to divide the seek bar, and then I passed this data into our component as a probe and then in our sigvar container i mapped over this chap chapters data and rendered all our sigvar sections also here you can see that i have added many listeners to this sigvar container and to this sigvar section and according to these listeners we are managing all our data like how much video is played which current chapter is playing how what how much that chapter is played what is the name of uh, that chapter and oh if we click on a specific part then which chapter should play. According to this li these listeners, we are managing all these things. And here, this is the part of our indicator. So if we hover on any part, then it is showing us the name of that chapter and the time that is uh, currently on we are hovering. These own listeners are not very complicated. These are very simple. You just need to create a simple project and then use all these things in that. Then you will always remember all these, these things. So if I explain more, so here you can see that on, on click, uh, I am doing the same thing as we were doing in simple uh, seek bar. Here we are calculating the new time and then we are setting the new time. And in all these other listeners also, we are doing the same thing. We are changing the time according to our new click. And here we are managing the hover effect mainly. So if we will hover on, a, on the seek bar on a specific part, then we should uh, see the time of that part and the name of the chapter of that part. So we are managing that from these listeners. By default, this is hidden. But if we hover on any specific part of the seek bar, then we will see this hover time indicator. So basically by this way, this seek bar is running. So now let's check what is M3 U8 video files and how we can run in our this video player. Because simply if we add this video file in our source, then it will not run in this video player. For running this M3 U8 video files, we need to use HLS. So HLS basically is a protocol which is used to deliver live videos. Also, you can read about this more. So for using this in our project, we have this HLS.js package. We can use directly by this pack. And this M3 U8 is a special video format. Uh, it can contain multiple quality videos, multiple audio of the videos. So this is a type of playlist in which we can set multiple type of videos with multiple qualities, multiple audios. So that's why this is used. But we cannot directly run this M3 U8 video files in our video HTML tag. For running them, we need to get uh, help of HLS. So I have installed this package HLS.js 
and here in use effect so here first we are checking is our browser support hls or not and then if it is supporting then we are loading the source and then we are attaching our video player to uh, that source and by this code we are getting all the qualities or all the different different qualities or of our video so let's say if we want to show a button or a drop down for changing the quality so for that first we need to extract all these qualities and then we can change accordingly so now the component was ready now it was the time to publish it to npm so that other people also can use this then i searched what is a package how we can develop a package specifically how we can develop a package in typescript because our component is in typescript so we need to develop our package also in typescript and there are a lot of things that we need to manage while developing the package so i searched a lot and then i found tsdx this is a zero configuration cli for TypeScript package development. With this command, we can easily create a development environment for our package and it gives us three templates basic, React, and React with Story Mode. Here we only need to create one component, so that's why I selected here React. It creates a simple uh, development environment for our package and also gives us a React playground in which we can test our component. So after installation, it gives us this development environment. Here we have source folder. In source folder, we need to export our component so here i have i have exported our entire uh, entire player component and also we have to add here the css file and then here in example we have simple this react app in which we have imported uh, the player plus component that we exported there and also we have import, imported this css file and then we have added this component here so that we can when we run this react app so that we can check how our how our component is looking so by this way i completed the component and for then we need to publish this to npm so for that i created account on npm and then we need to login in our terminal with the same account after login we can publish our component to npm but before that we need to build our component so here in package.json you can see that tsdx have given us this command after running this command here it has created this dist folder. In this in this folder, we have all code of, of our component, including the CSS file and all other components that we have created. So by this way, the package was developed and built successfully. Then I run npm publish command. So it got published on npm. I will put this npm and github link in description so that you can install this package in your project also and also you can check the code so this was the story of building player plus chapterized sigbar do like subscribe and let's connect on twitter